For some Chinese traders doing business with Russia, Heihe, the border city in northeast China's Heilongjiang province, has become a major gateway to Russia's Far East. Cargo from Russia is unloaded at an industrial park, while others are ready to be shipped to Russia's far eastern city of Blagoveshchensk. The Russian city is just across the river, and the nearest point between Heihe and Blagoveshchensk is just 750 meters. And the border trade has been booming since the 1980s. Today, thousands of Russians live permanently in Heihe, which is considered as the twin city of Blagoveshchensk. Like Chinese residents, they go to the local market in the morning, sometimes bargain with Chinese merchants. Summer is also a peak season for tourism. The Heihe port handles up to 4,000 passengers a day, according to the local authority. Chinese people take the boat to the Russian city across the river, and many Russians visit the Chinese city as well. To facilitate traffic between these two cities, a bridge project became a reality at the end of last year. China and Russia launched a long-awaited bridge project in December 2016. The bridge across the Heilongjiang River will boost the connectivity between Northeast China's Heilongjiang province and Russia's Far East. Today, the project is going smoothly here in Heihe, a border city in the province. The 1,284-meter highway bridge will be extended to Vladivostok, a major commercial port on Pacific Ocean. The Chinese and Russian governments began discussing this project as earlier as 1988, but progress was made only in 2013. It's designed to handle 3 million tons of cargo a year, which will be a tenfold increase from the Heihe port's current capacity. Reporting from Heihe, I'm Chen Qingqing for the Global Times.